Hello YouTubers, shooters, reloaders, Flyer 556 coming to you tonight from the house. I'm going to talk a little bit tonight about an unfortunate incident that happened last night. Um, if you guys didn't hear about it, there was another pretty bad shooting in South Carolina. It was in a historic church in Charleston, South Carolina. Um, another crazy druggie very similar to the Sandy Hook shooting. Um, this crazy druggie was given a 45 caliber handgun by his father for his 21st birthday and he committed this crime last night. Shortly after his 21st birthday, he was 21. His name was Dylan Roof, 21. And um, he decided to go out and go on a shooting spree last night. We don't have too many details about it. A few things I read, and he was on drugs, and uh, he had a 45 caliber handgun that was given to him for his birthday, and he went to a historic black church. He was white, and he shot up the place. He went at 8 o'clock p.m. He attended the service till 9 p.m. He got up. He said, I must kill you people, and um, he made a couple other comments, and he whipped out a 45 and opened fire. He killed eight people on the scene. One died later in the hospital for a total of nine people. He was he fled the scene in a black sedan and he was arrested shortly after. And um, pretty much that's the rundown. That's not why I'm making a video because as you guys know, it happened before, it happened now, and it's going to happen again. But it's not because of us that this keeps happening. This has been happening for years. Years and years and years it's been happening. It happens on a random basis. Druggie gets a hold of a gun, goes out and kills people. It's nothing new. It's just they're blowing it way out of proportion. They're making a big deal out of it. Of course, nobody wants to hear about it. Nobody wants to see this happen. But what Obama and Biden are coming out and saying, there's already emails and things going around on the Internet that they're going around saying that right here, in the U.S., this is the only place that this ever happens. That's what they're coming out saying. It only happens here in the U.S. That's not true. You know that. I know that. We all know that. It happens all over. It happens on a random basis. It's been happening for many years. It's going to continue to happen. No matter what they do to us or take from us or whatever, it's still going to happen. They're going to get the guns one way or the other. The sicko in Sandy Hook got the guns from his mother. He could have never purchased a gun on his own. They knew he was crazy. This sicko was given the gun by his father. Why, I have no idea. Maybe the father didn't know he was crazy, but he was on drugs and he was crazy. To do something like this, you got to be crazy. And they said he was on drugs. So anyhow, again, it happens again. I said it after Sandy Hook, it's going to happen again. And I say it now, it's going to happen again. It's going to continue to happen no matter what anybody does about it. There's always going to be a sicko out there that wants to go out and kill people. My point is, is it doesn't only happen here. It happens all over. It happens on a random basis. And it's going to continue to happen. That's my point. Um, but I want to make this video to make everybody aware of what they're looking to do because they're saying that it only happens here. So they're trying to turn this into another thing where they're going to go after us legal gun owners, shooters, reloaders, and again, we're going to pay the price. I'm sure you all remember what happened after the Sandy Hook shooting. It happened in December of 2012, right before Christmas. All of 2013, there was no 22. Very hard to get primers. Very hard to get powder. Very hard to get any kind of components and almost impossible to find ammunition and when you could it was limited where you could only shoot once a month if you were if you were limited to what you could buy if you didn't stock up and prepare for a situation like this you could only shoot once a month because you were only allowed to buy enough to shoot once a month that was the problem if you could even find it well get ready guys because it's coming again it's gonna happen again you're going to go to the store and the shelves are going to be wiped out. I can see it coming on the reloading stuff, on the ammunition. So if you didn't prepare for this, you better go out and buy whatever you can now because it's coming again. Here we go. Anyhow, 
It's another unfortunate incident. Nobody wants to hear about this, but it happened again, and it's going to happen again. And it doesn't only happen here. It happens everywhere. So, point is, it's going to happen again. And if you didn't prepare for this and you didn't stock up after what happened the last time, learn from this. Stock up, prepare for this, because it's going to happen again. And um, just remember to try to write them letters and you send them emails and do the same thing all over again like Sandy Hook and let, let Obama and Biden and all the Congress people know that we know that this is not the only place that this happens. And by, by putting regulations on us and creating laws on us isn't going to stop it from happening. We're not a bunch of idiots. We know this happens and it's not us that's making it happen. It never was and it never will be. If it happens with us it's going to be an accident. It's not going to be intentional, that's for sure. We're not some crazy bunch of idiots that wants to go out and kill people like these crazy bunch of idiots that commit these crimes. Anyhow, it's going to happen again. But stop putting the pressure on us, the legalized gun owners, that legally do this the right way. Come up with a way to go after the nutsos and fix the problem. Anyhow, that's all I got to say. Again, nobody wants to hear about this. But um, it happened again, everybody, and uh, it's probably going to happen again with the reloading components and the ammunition. It might not be as bad as what happened a year and a half ago with that, but um, there's going to be some re repercussion from this. And uh, just want to get the word out there, let everybody know what they're looking at doing and saying that it only happens here. That's the big thing right now. That's what they're using as leverage to, to try and do whatever it is they're going to do, like the video I made the other day about the internet gun ban. Um, that had nothing to do with this. That's something they were doing all on their own before this even happened, but um, this is just more ammunition for them, so we're going to have to go back to work and start writing them letters, sending them emails, and um, letting them know that we're not as stupid as we look, and we're not the ones committing the crimes, so back off on us and come up with some real laws that are going to fix the problem. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Please remember, like, subscribe, share, and again, thank you. Flyer 556, I'm out.